And because I'm not skipping, it allows me to play slow, relaxed, and controlled, but also it keeps me in a position to essentially attack, making sure you can understand that dribble and that feel of that ball being pulled backwards, which essentially is protecting that basketball. What's up everyone, DJ Sackman here. We just dropped a 50% off code for our modern point guard system. All you are getting back to school right now is a great program to start working on as you're gearing up for your new season. Now this program's a bit expensive. We have a lot of secret um, teaching points in here that can really help you out. And I think it could be the difference from a breakout season. So just use the code VIP50 and you'll see the checkout right under this video. VIP50, use that code and you'll be able to check out directly under this video. Again, I think this program can really help you out. We've never done a sale like this before. Um, so I think it'd be great to take advantage of it. Let's get it. All right, now with this segment, we're gonna focus on essentially bringing the ball up the floor, but right now we're gonna do it from a stationary position just so you guys can understand the dribble that's really important. This is a cheat code. This is a very easy way to bring the ball up the floor when you're being pressured. Once you do a basketball in your right hand, you're gonna have your inside foot forward. All you're gonna do to start is turn the basketball back and try not to carry the ball. So you're gonna go back and forth with this movement here. All right, you'll see the ball is turning and you're dribbling inside that foot. And we'll switch left hand, right foot forward here, 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 turning the ball back, making sure you can understand that dribble and that feel of that ball being pulled backwards, which essentially is protecting that basketball away from your defender. So a regular dribble will be like this, where, I was, where I'm bringing the ball up the floor, just dribbling regular. Now, if I have a defender a little tighter to me, I'm not just gonna dribble straight down, I'm actually gonna pull the ball back to add a layer of protection. So again, instead of a regular dribble here, I'm actually pulling the ball back behind my frame every step. So I'm gonna be here, pulling the ball back every time I dribble. So again, I'm dribbling right hand, left foot down on the ground, pulling the ball back, then you can switch, right hand or right foot down here, pulling the ball back, pulling the ball back pulling the ball back, essentially walking the basketball down the floor with that inside foot back, bringing the ball back to add that layer of protection. So every time I step, I'm gonna turn the ball back, left, right, and from this position without skipping, I'm stepping through the legs. And again, I'm gonna turn it right, left, and from this position, I'm stepping through the legs. There is no skipping involved. And because I'm not skipping, it allows me to play slow, relax and control, but it also it keeps me in a position to essentially attack. All right, let's look at it. Hips are slightly hinged here, and I'm just relaxed. I'm just relaxed, playing with control. Left, right, through. Right, left, through. Two, three. One, 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 two, three. As you can see, I'm essentially just relaxing. Hips are down, I'm turning the ball. I'm changing direction, no skipping whatsoever.